prime and composite numbers. This is a digital lesson, and this one's a lot of fun for the students. They're going to fill in this hundreds chart showing the prime and composite numbers. And they're going to use the fill color feature of Google Slides in order to do that. So the lesson starts with explaining that a prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and one. All other numbers are composite numbers. There are 25 prime numbers less than 100. So we're going to see if the students can find them all. And then they're going to count at the end to make sure that they have all 25. The number 1 is neither prime nor composite because it has only one factor. So students are going to start here on slide 4. So they're going to follow the instructions. The number 2 is the smallest prime number. So we're going to color that red. We're going to color all of our prime numbers red. And because every multiple of 2 can be divided by 2, that means they're composite numbers. So we're going to color in all of the multiples of 2 yellow. So they're going to click on this little hundreds chart and then click on slide 9. So it's going to take them right to this hundreds chart that they can color in digitally. So 2 is our smallest prime number. They're going to click on the 2 and then come up here to this fill color feature and they're going to color it in red. So there's our first prime number. Now we know that every multiple of 2 can be divided by 2, so then it's, they're not prime, they're composite. So all of the multiples of 2 we're going to color in yellow. So they're going to click and hold, and this whole column is going to be yellow except for the 2. Come up here. To, so we highlight, let me explain that. They're just going to click and hold, and then they're just going to scroll down until they've covered all of those squares. Come up to the fill color feature and choose yellow. Now they're going to do that with the other multiples of 2. That would be all of this, this entire column. All multiples of 2. So they're all composite. This entire column. And you can see that the number in the ones place is a, an even number. That means it can be d divided by 2. This entire column. And this entire column. So we really narrowed it down now. Now the next prime number is 3, and they can just follow the instructions here, but the next one would be 3, so they're going to click on the 3, and they're going to color that in red. And that means all of the multiples of 3 then have to be composite because they can be divided by 3. So we're just going to count by 3's. 1, 2, 3, that one's already colored in. 1, 2, 3, now we can color this one in yellow. I'm just going to be counting by threes to get the multiples of three. It's already colored in, 15, and so on. And then they're just going to color in those yellow. The next prime number would be five, and then they're going to, move to color in all the multiples of five, yellow. And they're going to keep doing this until they have 25 prime numbers colored in red. And again, the 1 will not be colored in because it's not a prime number. So students, when they finish, they can count and make sure they have 25 red squares. And they know they've got all the prime numbers. So this is a good visual for the students, and it really helps them understand what a prime number is. So digital lesson, prime and composite numbers using the hundreds chart.